Hunter, then Gary Jeffs, 29 is Morgan, Rinkham, then Fraser, 22 is Tony Scott, then uh, the car number 9, I haven't seen that, uh, Lindsay Cornwall, he's been around before, but welcome back Lindsay, nice to see you back, and it's nice to see the car well prepared too. starting to blow smoke coming round the outside and Rinkin really pouring it on too as he goes around Jeffs followed there by Richmond then Fraser uh, the car number nine is Cornwall 42 uh, the uh, driver of 42 is Tony Scott but they're really spread out now with Joe Lawler well back in the field down the straightaway they come and it's Brown the leader Brown in 27 followed there by Morgan then comes Rinkin on Jeff Finally a bit of trouble there as Fraser went up on the inside of Hunter. He got away from it nicely though. Tony Scott gives Hunter a shove along as they go into the corner. And that car passing us now there is the ex Heggy car. But it's Brown the leader. Brown away from Morgan who is high up into the fence. Here comes Rinkin down underneath him. Then comes Gary Jeffs who's finally got this car motivating. Up from the car number 60, Paul Winwood. Followed by Fraser and Tony Scott. Then comes Lawler. But boy, oh boy, there's spread eagle everywhere. The car 35 passing us now is uh, Rick Thomas. But it's Brown the leader. Brown from Rinkin, followed by Morgan and Jeffs. Then coming Windred and Fraser from Scott. Followed by Cornwall. Then comes uh, Joe Lawler. Behind him in the uh, car number 12. Phillips is in the 12. Phillips in the 12, but the leader there, passing us now, is Brown from Rinkin. Then the green car belongs to Morgan, going into the corner, Gary Jeffs after him. Trouble for Fraser, who did a 360. Well, the lights came on very, very quickly there. Something I missed, it looked as if Fraser just spun completely on his own, but uh, the stewards right on the job. Number 60 to the rear, 60, Paul Windred to the rear, caution flag coming out. Coming up after this event, uh, Ron, event number eight on the program is the second race in the STP Tasman Sedan Challenge, and the Australian drivers to take part here will be Peter Unwin, Ken Baker, Roger Clark, and Graham Lilford. They'll be the four Aussies. The New Zealanders at the moment leading by 12 points to 3 in the series. They've got a green, they're away again. Wow! Lincoln really goes around the server. Oh, look at Tony Scott, he'll never hold it. Bang, crash, wallop. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight times he's into the cement. Into the cement wall, you can see the eight hits as he goes around there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hits for Tony Scott, and he's quite okay. He bounced off there, and uh, he's now on the midfield, giving her a little bit of a surge, and he may well be back on the circuit again when he gets a tyre checked. Yes, here he comes. Okay, there are three laps to run. Three laps to run here in the modified hot rod division two invitation. And down the straightaway they come and they've got a green. And Rinkin is the leader. Rinkin from Jeffs, followed by Fraser, then coming Morgan. 
Going up quickly as Cornwall trying to make ground. Joe Lawler still in about the same position as he always was, but Rigdon Salida starting to blow some smoke too. Must be causing him some worry as he comes around the corner. He's got uh, two laps to run from here. Rigdon, Rigdon played by Fraser, then Morgan, then a gaggle of cars back here with everyone fighting for position. Then Ronnie Scott saying, move over, look out of it, I'm coming through. Rinkin is driving a tactical race here. He's running out of steam, is Rinkin. She's starting to die underneath him and keep in there. He's nursing it along all he can. Paul Rinkin has got the motor almost blowing up in his face, but he's trying to nurse her along. He's not going as fast as he'd like to be going. Gary Jeffs won't ever throw at him. Rinkin hanging on. He's gone wide. This will give Jeffs a chance. Down to the line they come and oh, I'd give it to Jeffs on the inside. Then Rinkin from Fraser, followed by Morgan. Boy, that was a close one, but I'd say Gary Jeffs got up right on the line. There was nothing more than a tyre in it, but we'd have to check that one officially for you. But by Jove, Jeffs came home with a rush, with Rinkin trying desperately to hang on to that sick motor. And uh, Ross will check them officially, no? Well, you thought wrong, Rodney. The lap scorer is sitting right on the line have awarded the event to 47 Paul Rinkin Paul Rinkin 47 officially first they're both going to come around that's very uh, pally 31 Gary Jeffs was second 7 Fraser was third 29 Dennis Morgan was fourth in the Pullins Carpets of Maitland Hot Rod number 29 and 10 Spradley was fifth but number 47 Paul Rinkin was the official winner 47 Rinkin held on long enough to win I don't think the drivers knew either so it must have been a photo finish